Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about keloids and hypertrophic scars. Many people ask what exactly is a keloid? A keloid is a scar usually first seen behind the ear because people get ear piercings that grows quite large. The technical difference between a hypertrophic scar and a keloid is that the keloid grows outside of the area of the incision as opposed to a hypertrophic scar which is simply along the same line as the incision. Treatments of hypertrophic scars and keloids are often similar although the exact microscopic definition is different between keloids and hypertrophic scars. Keloids are most commonly found in African American and Hispanic individuals, though they can be seen in Caucasian and other races. Treatments of keloids relies on first trying to decrease the inflammatory response that occurs and the collagen response that occurs around the incision, excising the keloid itself, and preventing the recurrence. Many studies have shown that if you only treat the keloid itself surgically and do nothing else, there is almost a 100% chance of recurrence of the keloid after surgical excision. Generally, in my practice, I will first inject the keloid with a steroid, generally triamcinolone or kinolog, for several treatments spaced approximately four to six weeks apart, then excise the keloid surgically, injecting kinolog at the time of excision, and then two to three times afterwards. In addition, several other therapies have been tried after surgical excision to try to prevent keloids from reforming. These include 5-fluorouracil, a chemotherapy agent, as well as silicone sheeting, which can be purchased at any over-the-counter pharmacy in the wound care aisle, this is thought to allow pressure, some pressure as well as a moisture barrier to provide a moist wound to enhance healing, as well as radiation therapy. Generally, radiation therapy though is reserved for recalcitrant cases or cases where the keloid has been excised, recurs, has been excised, recurs again, and then requires surgical excision. In my practice, radiation is generally reserved for the most difficult of cases that have, have recurred numerous times. The reason for this is, while being fairly safe and fairly limited, radiation treatments to a keloid, typically on the ear, other parts of the face and body as well, tend to only be three to five days worth. However, there is a risk of inciting a cancer even 15 to 20 years later after radiation treatments. So it's often best to try a less invasive therapy first, and if that doesn't work, try something a little bit more invasive. For hypertrophic scars, treatment is slightly different. Often does not need to include surgical excision. First, Kinolog is often used to try to decrease the firmness of the scar and decrease some of the collagen formation. And second, some type of dermabrasion is used often to smooth out the scar and to decrease the ability for it to be seen. For more information about this and other scar treatments and innovations in facial plastic surgery, please feel free to visit my website at www.innovationsfps.com. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.